What's up YouTube, Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here and today's video is going to be another coffee patina but I'm going to show you the before and after effects in the video. Knife I'm going to be doing it on, doing the coffee patina on today is my Condor Swamp Romper. Yes, I know I've done a patina on this before but I spent quite a bit of time over the past few days cleaning this blade up because I had decided a few days ago that I wanted to redo the patina on it. So I took my Dremel to this knife with a buffing wheel on it and some green stropping compound and cleaned it up the best I could. I also had to reprofile the edge because apparently some of the vinegar got under the resist I used, which was clear nail polish and kind of damaged the edge of the knife. So I've reprofiled it. Anyway, let's bring it out and show you what it looks like now. Now, there is gonna be some shadowing left from the original patina, but as you can see, I've cleaned it up pretty well, and it, it has a pretty nicely polished edge now as well. Uh, the reprofiling was done completely by hand on my workshop guided sharpening system and then stropped with my paddle strop. As you can see it's pretty well cleaned up, although I'm expecting there to be some shadowing left over and in fact in person you can see a little bit of shadowing when you get the light at the right angle from the original patina. Just a tiny bit of shadowing. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about that, so I'm thinking that the patina on this is going to be rather patchy. However, one of my subscribers, Jay Hall, wanted to know if I could get the coffee patina darker, and that's what I'm going to be attempting to do with this blade. I'm only going to be doing up to the handle scales, so there will be a before comparison on the handle as well as the after of the blade. So, yeah. Let me just give you another look at the blade. I've got a nasty habit of putting blades away when I'm not finished with them. So here we have the Swamp Romper. Hopefully you can see it's nicely clean there. You can see it glaring on the camera lens. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Not really. I'm just showing you how shiny it is now. So this is pretty much back to its factory finish, minus the slight shadowing from the previous patina. And as soon as I cut this segment, I am going to be starting the coffee patina and I'm going to be leaving it in for around four to six hours. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to be leaving the blade in constantly for those six hours. I actually have to pull it out once an hour to reheat the coffee that I'm going to be using. And in point of fact, I have found that that actually improves the finish of the patina you get. It makes it richer somehow. I don't know quite the mechanics behind it, but it works. So in a minute when I cut this video, I'll be going to the kitchen and using the same coffee as I used on the Mora, which is Lavazza Espresso Coffee. And I'll see you again at maybe 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock this evening, depending how things go. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Well, I'm back, guys. And what was only a handful of seconds for you was seven and a half hours for me. What with taking the blade out of the coffee, reheating the coffee, and then putting the blade back in for another hour. The actual time for the six hour patina was actually spot on seven hours. Then the last half an hour was spent doing a little bit of finish work on it with the extra fine diamond plate on my workshop guided sharpening system followed by stropping with green compound on my paddle strop. And now I have the results here in the sheath. And to answer your question, Jay, yes, you can in fact do a coffee patina for longer than two hours without messing the blade up. So let's see how it came out, shall we? And I have the blade here. And in my opinion, it came out really beautiful, came out really dark, 
but if I can get the light angle just right, you can see all the colors in the patina. There are blues in there, there's some greens, some straw colors, some purples. It is a beautiful patina, but when you take the light off it, it is dark. It is almost completely black when there is no light on it, but the life of the patina comes out as soon as the light hits it. I think you will agree this blade came out incredibly beautifully. And I'm trying to get it at an angle so you can see the coloration on the blade. There we go. Hopefully that's the right sort of angle. I think the coffee patina is actually going to become my new favourite method for putting a patina on a blade because it is just richer looking than a vinegar patina and it has more personality to it because of the colours that run throughout patina. So what causes these colorations? Well, the only thing I can think of to explain it is the oils in the coffee because I've done the exact same with this blade as I did with the Mora, and that included making sure that the surface was free of oil before I started the process. I think you'll agree though that the, the result speaks for itself. It is a beautiful, be beautiful, beautiful finish. And honestly, I think this is the ultimate Condor Swamp Romper look. Anyway. What do you think, Jay? Because this video was made because of you. Do you think it's dark enough? Six hours coffee patina. And honestly, guys, I'm really starting to enjoy how the results come out with the coffee patina. And I'm going to pull the blade out again here. There we go. Sheaf is a little bit stiff at the moment because obvious reasons. I haven't oiled the blade yet. I'm going to be putting another coat of oil on it soon. But that is absolutely beautiful in my opinion. Absolutely beautiful. And that was done with just coffee. Same coffee I used to do the Mora in fact. Uh, this Mora. And as you can see just as beautiful, but the colours are more stark on the condor, I think. So, that's about it for today. Here we have my two blades done with the coffee patina, my Mora Basic Pro-C and my Condor Swamp Romper, which I effed up the patina on before. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think the coffee patina has a striking look, or do you think it's kind of the same as using a vinegar patina? Personally, I think the coffee looks way better, although it is a little more work. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment, and share. And remember, be good to each other. Bitch.